Guys, now this is another topic which is important that is role of boiling on pressure. Let's see if I can help you with this. Boiling, we discussed that boiling is evaporation with a liquid converting to vapor state. So what happens basically in boiling is you have a frying pan, you have put water inside and you start heating it. When you heat, basically heat energy is given to the water and the kinetic energy of the molecules increase. When this kinetic energy increases, there is a time when these molecules jump out of the water and basically form vapors. Okay? Now, guys, this is an animated video, you might laugh, but I will help you understand this. Suppose, I am this, like this, and I am jumping. Easy for me to dump. Now I take, put 20 kg on myself, becomes difficult. And suppose if you put 100 kg, it becomes damn difficult for even to lift myself up. Right? Now, understand this? Now, suppose, come over here. Now, the weight that I am talking about is pressure. Which pressure? Atmospheric pressure acting over here. Or whatever pressure is above this frying pan. Right? So, if this pressure is more, it will not allow this molecules of water to explode outside, to go outside, right? So in this case, these molecules are going to require more kinetic energy to move out. More kinetic energy means more heat, more temperature. So, when the pressure outside was 1 bar, just at heat, by heating it up to 100 degree centigrade temperature, the water started boiling and moving out. Now, similarly, suppose I increase the pressure out here and make it 2 bar. Now, even if this water molecule starts, tries to explain ex to evaporate or to jump out into the vapor form, it won't be able to do that because now it's like a weight acting on it. So, you will have to heat it more. 120 degrees centigrade. Sufficient kinetic energy for it to go out. Similarly, if you make it 3 bar, say 130 degree centigrade, 4 bar, say 140 degree centigrade. So, what is happening? By increasing pressure, we increase the boiling point. On the contrary, suppose I go on Mount Everest, right? I told you Mount Everest and pressure becomes less, say 0.7 bar. Now, the water will not boil at 100. Maybe at 80 degree centigrade only it will boil. Right guys? So, it boils just by reaching 80 degree centigrade temperature. If I reduce it further, a Mount Everest of water may go there. Maybe on a plane or something if I go there. Not on a plane, but uh, say by creating some vacuum, if I place a uh, frying pan in a place where it is in a chamber like this and I have created vacuum to say 0.5 bar water can evaporate say at 60 degree centigrade what is this 0.5 bar? 0.5 bar absolute pressure gauge pressure minus 0.5 bar right? I am talking about vacuum guys I hope you remember that this 0.7 is absolute pressure Gauge pressure mein this will show minus 0.3 bar. Right guys? And this is going to show on gauge pressure minus 0.5 bar. So, when I decrease pressure boiling point decreases. Clear guys? Now, let's come to another basic. Abhi, see, necessity is the mother of all inventions. We talk about pressure cookers, they came into force, arch period mein aate hai. but what do actually pressure cookers do? Let's see. This is a normal frying pan in Goa and a pressure cooker.
Now, normal frying pan, one bar pressure in Goa. Over here also one bar pressure in Goa. But over here it is open, so it will start boiling at 100 degrees centigrade. But what about this pressure cooker? Till the time pressure inside increases sufficiently so much that it is able to lift this CT up, this device to release pressure up. The pressure will be over here. Say now at 1.5 bar pressure, this device shifted or safety wall I would say lifts up. So that means the pressure cooker approximately 1.5 bar pressure is being maintained. That means the boiling point over here is 120 degree centigrade. Now what will happen? So if you take a potato and put over here and you take a potato put over here. Over here potato is under 100 degree centigrade temperature. Over here the potato is under 120 degree centigrade temperature. It will boil over here faster. Easily. It takes 40 minutes over here, it takes 20 minutes over here. So you are saving gas. That is why pressure cookers are favored. And especially on mountains where the water boils at 70 degree centigrade only or 80 degrees. So there it takes a lot of time cooking food out over here because the water boils at 80 degree centigrade. So potato takes a lot of time to boil. But out here, pressure cooker out there. No matter, does not matter whatever the atmospheric pressure is boils because over here pressure is being controlled by this device. I am not bothered. And temperature will always be boiling temperature will always be approximately 120 degree centigrade. So your food cooks faster. I hope you have got the point. So now you have got a chart in front of you. You can see on the slide. At 1 bar atmospheric pressure, boiling temperature is 100 degree centigrade. At 2 bar, it is 120 degree centigrade. At 3 bar, approximately 135 degree centigrade. At 4 bar, approximately 145 degree centigrade temperature. Simultaneously, if you reduce the pressure or you create vacuum, so at gauge pressure, minus 0.5 bar, the boiling point is 81 degree centigrade. At gauge pressure, Minus 0.7 bar, absolute boiling time point is 65 degree centigrade. At gauge pressure, minus 0.8 bar, boiling point is 60 degree centigrade. At gauge pressure, minus 0.9 bar, boiling point is 45 degree centigrade. And at gauge pressure, minus 1 bar, that is 100% vacuum, water flashes off at any temperature. But it should be above 0 degree centigrade, it should not be ice. Just flashes off. So guys, why was this important for you to understand? As I talked about fresh water generator when I was explaining the venturi part to you, the detector part. So I told you, ki hume, see, we have to boil sea water. For Gandhi ji it was very easy. If he was on land, he just raised the temperature, made it up to 100 degree centigrade temperature, water started boiling, salt remained there and then he condensed it and he got pure water. But in our case, we do not have the liability to have the 100 degree centigrade temperature. So what we do is, we create vacuum inside that fresh water generator chamber. We create vacuum up to 90%, that is minus 0.9 bar pressure. Gauge pressure minus 0.9 bar. So the sea water, whenever it comes in, it starts boiling even at 45 degree centigrade temperature. And then we condense it and we get easily fresh water available on ship itself. So that's Jugaad, that's science and that's technical knowledge. Thank you very much. Jai Mataji.